Hi guys, it is Katie from Created by Katie. Welcome back to um, my video today. I'm this, I guess, is my first video for 2016 in the card making department. I have a couple of other videos that I posted earlier this week, but this one is my first one making a couple of cards, and um, I'm working with the January stamp of the month. It's called. I just had it. Beloved Bouquet. This is a very fun stamp set, 14 stamps. They are two-step stamping roses or flowers. They've got some very fun fonts there, the Happy Valentine's Day, thinking of you, you mean so much, and love you. And they pair nicely with these very crisper image, um, fonts, perfect for adding just a little bit more to your card. So I wanted to um, show you a couple of things today. Right away what um, hit me for this was, of course, this is a two-step stamp set, and I'll show you what I mean by that. There is the larger image here, and I'm going to make sure that it is inked up really good yeah, I've noticed that, um, I don't know, I've been getting good results with it, but you really got to kind of work it in there the very first time you use it. And I'm going to stamp it off once and then stamp it on some white daisy cardstock so it's really light. And then I've got the more detailed, and I'm just using the same color, but I stamped it off so that the bottom part would be a little bit lighter. If you had a um, lighter pink color that would coordinate with the pomegranate ink, that would work great too. But if you just have one ink pad, this works perfectly. So there we go. I've got a fun image and I have another one that I've already cut out. And I went ahead and I stamped and cut out a couple more of these images from the stamp set so we can make a quick card. And um, normally I have been participating in a stamp of the month blog hop and I didn't do it this year because it was on the first and I just didn't get my stuff together. But I saw a lot of fun images or a lot of fun creations with this stamp set and I'm going to link to that blog hop even though I wasn't participating in it I will link to that in my blog post but I t I commented I hadn't even seen this image right here in the stamp set until somebody pointed it at, or I guess until I saw one of the cards that were made and I'm like I didn't even see that in the stamp set So I've got a craft cardstock and some craft ink and I've got this image and I'm just kind of going to do this for just a little bit of background on my card there. And then I have a strip of pattern paper and some gold foil tape. The pattern paper is from the La Vie en Rose pattern paper pack, B&T papers, and I've got some gold foil tape here. And I'm just going to adhere this kind of down. Now, I think what I'm going to do is put the foil tape on there first so that it's kind of underneath. And using my grid lines I used my scissors somewhere else today and left them there. Okay, try to get this as straight as I can on here. I'll 
use these other scissors to cut this. And then I can add this. I wanted that foil tape to be underneath there. Okay. And then just using some adhesive and foam tape, I'm going to adhere this to the front of my card. I think, gotta see where this one's gonna go. Yeah. So this is a very cute little stamp set. Perfect for the Valentine season. Of course, Christmas is over, so now we gotta just jump right into the next holiday, right? I know that the stores locally, and probably the ones where you live, already have their Valentine's Day stuff out. Some of them probably even have had it out for a while. I don't know. I have tried to stay home over the break and stay away from the stores, if at all possible. Especially the grocery store. I hate going there. <laughs> we are always needing food. We're always, somebody's always hungry. Probably the same at your house if you have kids, especially. Okay, so now I've just got a scrap of white daisy cardstock. And I think I'm going to go with You Mean, You Mean So Much To Me. And I'm just going to stamp that with some black ink. Kind of getting it centered, but, oh, I did. I got ink on my finger. Then I'm going to risk it and just cut a little notch to create a little flag that's going to go. Now, I better just... I can't fudge that one. I've got to... Yeah, that looks okay. Alright. This is new, so I'm just trying to learn how to use that silly thing. And I might have to kind of peel that up just a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. Perfect. So there is one fun little card with these images. Okay, the next technique that I wanted to show you was the rock and roll technique. And I'm going to be showing you with just one color of ink pad on the main flower and then I'll show you how you could do it with um, three ink pads in order to get all the different colors. So it just depends on um, the ink pads that you have and the colors. Again, I'm going to stamp this off and like I said, if you have a lighter color, that would work perfectly too, but I'm just going to use the one ink pad for now. So I've stamped it off so it's a little bit lighter. And for this technique, you want to make sure that you have a block that is the same size. If you have something that's too big, it's going to be too hard to get to the edges. So I'm just going to kind of roll this around in a circle. So you maybe see that. But once you stamp it, you'll be able to see it. I had a little fleck of something on there. So you can see the shading that's happened around our flower. And now I'm just going to use the same color and stamp over there. So now you have even a little bit more shading and dimension. Here's the one that I stamped earlier, just the two steps. And then here's the one with the rock and roll technique. So you can see the difference, just adds just a little bit more to your card. I am going to show you now with the leaves and um, three ink pads. So I've got Sweet Leaf, which is lighter, Fern is a little bit darker, and then Topiary is the darkest. And you could do this easily with just two colors. 
if you wanted to do that. If you wanted to stamp off and then stamp your lighter one and then do the rock and roll technique in the same color and then use an even darker color to stamp on the front. But I'm just going to stamp this, ink this up good with the sweet leaf and then I'm going to just roll the corner or the edges of this one and there you go you've got a fun little effect and then I'm going to ink up this leaf with the even darker image or color and stamp it on there so now you kind of have three shades of green which is really fun so I've went ahead and I have stamped these prior and cut them out for you so that we can create a f another fun card. So this is kind of a two for video. Getting two cards for the price of one. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys both um, techniques today. So again, I have the other sheet of craft card stock and more of this pattern paper from the La Vie en Rose. And really it's just the flip side, but I'm going to round the top two corners and then put a little bit of adhesive on the back. And then I've got a strip of cardstock that I'm going to add in here. Perfect. And I think we'll throw some more gold foil in there just because it's fun and gold and silver foiling. That just seems to be hot right now in the paper crafting world, right? And it goes so beautifully with this black and white. I'll add it in right there. I didn't use my grid lines that time. I just was winging it. Let's see, what did I do with my sentiment? I think this time I'm going to go with thinking of you. Unfortunately, those are cards that I need that I just never seem to have on hand because I don't like making them, but you always need them. So I've got that stamped. I'll make a little flag. Okay, we'll get that ready. Let's see, that kind of looks good like that, right? But I also have even more gold. <laughs> I'm going to add that. I don't know, what do you guys think about the little mess of gold behind here? I still haven't really mastered it, so I'm just going to show you what I do. Put a little bit of adhesive and then just kind of messily Oops, doesn't want to stick. Then just kind of messily lay it down there in a blob, I guess. Right? Doesn't it kind of end up looking like just a blob of twine? And Okay. Alright, and then I'm going to... I think I'm going to use foam tape for the rest of this because... I don't think, I don't know how well, I guess, the uh, adhesive will hold over the twine there. And I want to make sure everything stays on here really good. I think that's just going to go up there. I'm not always really good at placing my flowers. And I always used to think I was not a flower stamp person. Then sometimes I would see the most beautiful cards, and that's kind of how I'm feeling with 
these too. Oh yeah, that looks good. So you can just kind of see the pop of green behind there. So there's our second card and here's our first card. This one with just the regular two-step stamping and then this one with the little bit of rock and roll technique done on it. I hope that you guys enjoyed those two techniques today and I hope that you come back to visit again soon. Look forward to sharing many more card, card videos with you guys. I look forward to sharing many more card videos with you guys in 2016. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.